It's be true, but it's, so, it's like fucking like a couple of days ago I found out that uh, evidence from dilated people produced Kanye's uh last call from his first album. You know, last call, the last song of the fucking song, Tears to the Rock. Yeah. Last, uh, yo, it's produced by evidence from fucking dilated peoples. That's wild. So, Crazy. Yeah. That blew my mind. That fucked me up like this week. Like literally. It blew I, my mind. I felt that way a lot of Kanye West produced that over the course of my life, actually. When you realize the vastness of Ye, because now he goes by Ye, everyone. I don't know if y'all watched that Drink Champs, but I watched that whole Drink Champs. First. I felt like this is some hip hop cultural shit one should not miss. Bigger than any of the fucking individual. I'm just a bit, a bit piece, pissed of how he turned himself against uh, Talib Kweli, but whatever. And, and also. Okay, here's the thing about that. I know two people this week that. Talib Kweli added and argued with. Okay, I know two people in my life this week that he added, and then he's literally doing shit like screenshotting people and like putting them on blast in ways that are just like he's just my guy. Like I, it's like I wanna, I don't wanna feel this way, but you just go on his, you can get lost on his Instagram for an hour. Like I thought, if I was a different kind of creator. I'd already have a series called Reading Talib Kweli's Instagram. <laughs> okay, like, I don't think you know how bad it is to be on the receiving end of a Talib Kweli rant for no reason when he feels away about some shit. Because I watched a lot of random people on the internet take a lot of random shit, a lot of words that I would not, like, I'm just like, Shh. so I'm not saying he's wrong or right. I'm saying he'd be wilding out on regulars, and it's weird. Because these people yeah. that I know, they ain't, like, anybody that you should be like responding to if you're talib fucking quali <laughs> well you know it's just that he he decides to take the the time to respond to some you know some maybe like it's it, i'm 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 even thinking that people that sometimes that he responds to are beyond haters like they're beyond they're just people they're trolls literally nah, i mean i'm and saying yeah right. some of the people troll him but i watched him turn on people who asked Jen like, anyway i spent yeah. this is like i did this this week right because when you go did dude just say talib kweli's calling him a racist and then you go on the rabbit hole that happened to me earlier this week and i had to admit i could see how he yeah, no, may end up rabbit. i could see how like he may actually have pissed off kanye west how just on being himself and Ye being himself, and that turned into a situation. Like, boy, your boy's telling you, yo, come back to us. You would get pissed because of that too, against Talib. Your boy's just telling you, come back to us. Okay, your boy's probably not understanding you, where you at mentally, but the fact that he's just telling you to come home. Yo, Kanye be on some that. out there shit. I could see why Kanye For would sure. not like that. If you like listen to Kanye though, you can be like, mm, I oh, can like, see why Kanye yo, don't like that. Talib Kweli brought you on to on your first fucking tour. Just because of that, you should shut the fuck up and not say anything against this man. He put you on your you you put Talib on on one of your not well not the biggest single of College Dropout, but one of like the best rapping singles of fucking uh, of College Dropout, and you still say this shit like. Fuck that! It's it's super whack. And then and then going out and saying that oh to the whole backpack community, I'm sorry. I I just used y'all to get where I'm at. Like wow, like was, really, dude? You you're being this type of asshole right now? Like wow. I mean, I'm gonna just throw it out there. They did make. He didn't have to hit take the blood. He didn't have to drink for se. Yeah, he actually did say that shit. Everything he's saying is actual factual. What was said. Yeah, um, what I just said, he literally said word for word. Nah, he's not right? making any of this up. Personally, I didn't feel the same level of reaction to it because I flux with Kanye's vision and I kind of get, I can empathize. Yo, Hold on. I can listen, empathize I with how. I'm a, fan, I'm a Kanye fan, like, but I, I at some point a couple years ago, I decided to. To, to split the man from being the man that he is and being the music producer that he is. I understand. Now, like, I, I did that shit a couple years ago. So whatever he said, like, on Drink Champs. So, like, like Kanye but, West. You know, I'm sticking a little bit. I'm like, fuck, this is so. I even read like, an article on that shit. 
Like, you know, cause I care about this. It's so interesting to me. This is a big dramatic thing. And he, the way he put the backpack, I'm like, cause I reviewed his first album. Right. And am I, I don't know shit all unless I reviewed that album. And it's not that backpacker at all in a like 2020 like hindsight of who he is it just kind of feels that way because he doesn't sound like the streets exactly but outside of like the flexing it's kind of more on the other side in my opinion just on like the idea of college and then i had his third project i bought that one in like the physical realms back in the day and i always felt it was just like this pop experience right like never felt that was in backpack you know so it's like to me that was my impression and then everything post that i know it was just pretty much when i got heard kanye was all his singles for like the next 15 years until like way later on in life so like to me i never saw him like a backpacker ever i understand i never saw him as a backpacker either but to, to me so here, here's how i saw kanye west coming into the game I was seeing him being the one responsible to bridge in the gap between backpackers and that commercial sound. So he was able to get that commercial sound, but having dope ass fucking backpack rappers or underground rappers on these mainstream records. Okay. That's that, that's what it was his job, and that's what he was doing back then. But like you I know, mean, like yo, hearing Talib on a fucking billboard, on a billboard fucking hearing comment on a well not coming per se but whatever like you know and then seeing like rhyme fest and then seeing consequence shining through that album and all that shit and then and then and then you're telling like your first album the first album that made you you're turning your back on them and saying fuck y'all i just used you to get where i'm at i think like, come on it's, it's like spitting okay, he's it's, like it's, it's he's kind of to he, he's also drunk at this point it's a little like Who cares? It's disrespectful to I mean, hip hop. It's kind you're of a spitting, it's a thing spitting, that keeps like Nori like, like Nori clearly engineers this, right? Like this is what they do, right? It's there for like Nori Nori's happy of whatever controversial shit is coming out of Kanye's I mean, country. Ismail Mego no. being drunk is not an excuse, but from what I understand and if you listen to Donda, Kanye ain't really been drinking a lot and I've had several moments in my life where I've gotten too drunk and the words that came out of my mouth I can't remember right so we don't know how drunk he was how fucked up he was i understand what you, he was i don't think that's an excuse i don't think I don't it's not think an I, excuse I, I, but exactly. they were egging think, him on to talk his shit while he was drunk i'm not saying it's an excuse but i'm saying in the full context people can't be like that you know now like i'm saying in 2021 Kanye be on this next level shit and I think his whole life lately is a bunch of people trying to tell him how to live. I, I don't know about y'all, but I wouldn't like everybody if people kept telling me how to live. And that's the one thing about him that I can empathize with a little bit. Cause Sometimes you're so blinded by your own by your own visions that, you know, you're not seeing the the maybe how other but or whatever maybe other people yeah, aren't yeah, really like but yeah, none of us here's the thing man i don't know that many billionaires and that's just the end of that because like he's not even on our planet anymore he's kind of in another like we don't know billionaire shit <laughs> he's a billionaire now like okay. and i know that he's, like changes whatever and it, he asked until, four years ago he asked zuckerberg for some money but, but yeah, all of that was, was like <laughs> part of his like dealing with shit i don't know like i'm not really here to make yeah, excuses now, now for you, him. now you're doing shit now you're saying shit because but, you know it's gonna cause controversy and that's fucking whack this ain't the wwe i know a lot of people who feel that way no i hear you <laughs> but i know a lot of people who feel that way about talib Kualito. so like it's just like i get where you're coming from but he is kind of like like i don't i don't i don't i'm like and I'm not trying I'm to say I'm right here. I love your discussion. I love the way you're defending this shit because it's super interesting to hear. Right? I just want the people out there to know. You're turning, you're turning your back on the the machine that made you, and it, and I find that's whack and that's backstabbing. That's like it's it's totally it's it's fake. You you've been a fraud all this time. You know exactly what you wanted to do, and this is what you're telling you you're you're, you're uh, not avoiding, but you're you're. Uh, I lost my word. You're you're admitting what you did, and then and you you're admitting that you were a fraud. You used mm. the the backpack platform to get where you were. 
because you you knew that that's what was gonna work. I appreciate it. and I appreciate this because like I know it's your I don't know if you can hear me when you're getting your beer or not. <laughs> oh, I I do. You're you're on the oh, yeah, speakers. Okay, cool. on my speaker. So like, yeah. and I I appreciate where you're coming from, right? Because like this is totally the culture that you grew up in, right? In a way that it's not the culture I grew up in. I'm kind of like guest in the house type shit, and I know it. You know, it's just kind of what it is, but. I hear where you're coming from, from a sense where it almost feels like Kanye is willing to come at your community. Whereas Here you go. I'm a little so, bit like already on the outside. So I don't really feel that side of it. And, and I'm being real with you. I don't feel that when I hear this shit, but maybe I should. But like, it's interesting to understand where you're coming from. Mm-hmm.